When we talk geophysics, obviously geophysics is the talk of the town. You know, everyone's doing geophysics and they're targeting. And 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 I've I've had many conversations where we sort of agreed that the the, the results and the technology and um, is is much more improved than say five ten years ago. In in a place like like where you guys are, where you got shallow cover, is is that helping you a lot more than if you were in you know the gold fields where you got 90 meters of cover and things like that. Is, is that something you've noticed that they are able to give you more definition to vector? Well, we have the highest resolution airborne geophysical data set on the island. It was 30 meter line spacing, 16,000 line kilometers of high resolution magnetic data. And it's just amazing. We also have a very strong magnetic contrast in our rocks. Um, the, thin, the thin cover helps as well. But the big thing is, is the magnetic contrast in our rocks. Uh, it allows us to get a very detailed high resolution image of the structure. And the reason that we do the geophysics is to um, find structures that are potentially ore bearing uh, gold, gold, gold fluids moving through these structures. So we do the geophysics in order to identify the structural controls on the mineralization. And, and that allows us to, to do follow up work in those areas. And, you know, it's been crucial that the high resolution geophysics has been crucial in, in our targeting process, but it's really on the first stage. It's not a direct detection of mineralization. Um, it, it, it shows us the geometry and architecture of, of the, the rocks and, and leads us down the path to discovery.